There you go. Time to do a vlog. Now last week I did a vlog about feeding my dog a two day old rabbit. One that would have shot with a blow gun and couldn't find it and had gone and died somewhere. And anyway, uh, we found it and fed it to Bob and Boo. And a bloke from New York, John, hi John, he wrote me a uh, private message saying, man, that's disgusting. How could you feed your dog that? Would you eat that? No, I wouldn't eat that, mate, because I'm not a dog. I'll show you, I'll show you Bob, folks. Here's Bob. There he goes. In his cave, which by the way, he loves being in. He gets walked at least twice a day. Stay. Stay. He'd love to come out, but he's not allowed to come out until I say. Bob, come. Bob, sit. Stay. There you go. No, he's off. Bob, back in your kennel. Good dog, stay. Point being is, if you look at Bob, He's in absolute mint condition. So is his brother, Boo. Hey, Boo. Let me show you Boo. Boo, come. Boo, sit. Wiggle. Now Boo was swinging off a 90 pound boar on Sunday, you can see around his neck he copped one prong just there, the side, just a wee neck, other than that he's in tip top condition. Boo, in your box, Boo come, up, right I've showed you my dogs, you can see they're healthy, I've got to keep them healthy, hunting wild boar it's a, a ferocious animal that tries to kill them. So they've got to be more like an athlete. They're not like a pet that you just have on the couch and take for a walk twice a day or once a day. I'm really thoughtful about what I'm feeding my dogs, giving them the right nutrition. So people that write to me and say I'm being disgusting, you're only measuring it with your own mindset about how you view nutrition with dogs. But dogs are completely different to us. Look at what's in here. This is my dog tucker fridge. It's not plugged into anything, it's just an empty old fridge. It's cool, but it's not cold. So I've got a, uh, a hair. Now that hair's been in there since Sunday. And today is Wednesday. So it's starting to get a bit ripe. That possum, I got that on Friday. My weapons of choice for catching these animals? Well, the hair was caught by a dog while we were pig hunting. And this possum, weapon of choice was my Toyota Land Cruiser. It was in the middle of the road and I snotted it with it. And I got out and threw it in the back for dog tucker. I've got a wee bit of dry feed there. In this bucket here I've got venison that my mate John gave me, off cuts. And in here I've got wild pork that's from a pig, the same pig I got on Sunday. Got a little bit of dog roll. So that's what my dogs get to eat. And I try to feed them as much whole food as I can. The other thing is eggs. Where do I get my eggs from? Not the supermarket. Here's where I get my eggs. Now eggs are another thing that people are funny about. Let's grab a few eggs. My dogs get an egg each a day and they love them. So there's four eggs there right then. Actually, I might uh, give Bruno, I might give him an extra one. Five eggs in one hand. Now there's misconception about eggs too, because they can contain salmonella, particularly they get older. And people say, no, you shouldn't feed them that. Well, that's bullshit again. The reason people get upset about that, particularly vets, when I talk about the egg for a bit here, I'm going off track a bit, but my vet the other day said, don't feed your dogs eggs because they can get salmonella 
poisoning. Now why vets are concerned about this, well, there's a lot of reasons really, but uh, Simonella poisoning, there's about, I don't know, 200 different types of Simonella, I'm not going to go through it, but it is, uh, it's zoonotic, which means that the dog can get it and then pass it on to the human. So there's that human health aspect that vets are very, very aware of and they would hate to be responsible for something that caused that. True, but Bob's digestive system is so different to, to ours, from his mouth down to his bum, the time it takes from that egg to go in and come out the other end is about 8 hours, 8 to 10 hours, because he has a very short digestive tract. The other reason is his saliva. The egg can't, any bacteria in that egg, his saliva is just going to kill it. It just wastes it. And if that doesn't waste it, the digestive acids, the acids in his gut, they just kill it. I mean, he can eat the most hideous, rotten stuff. That's how he's evolved. Pop sit. Good dog, stay. Leave it. Leave it. Bob, eat up. So, egg white contains avidin, which is an inhibitor of biotin. Bruno, sit. Stay. And biotin belongs to the vitamin B family. Bruno, eat up. So people say you shouldn't give dogs egg whites and to combat this you should cook it. That's true, it does kill that avidin but so the dog can still get the biotin but by cooking it you just destroy all the nutrition of the egg. But the other thing is that eggs also contain the yolk part which is full of biotin so it counter, counterbalances it. I'm not saying you should feed your dog hundreds of eggs, but you know, within balance, eggs are bloody good. They're a whole food. You think about it. Like, uh, think about a chicken growing in an egg. All the amino acids, you know, to create the building blocks for protein are in there so that chicken can grow from like a tiny embryo into a chicken with feathers and bone and everything's in that egg. So it's a whole food source as far as amino acids go. And if you look on all the really like premium type dog foods around, they always list, you know, contains amino acids, blah, 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 but the best amino acids have got to be an egg, don't they? Because it's natural. It's all there. If it can grow a whole life, think how good it is for your dog. So I feed my dogs eggs. Not for you, Bruno. This egg is not for you. No. Bruno, sit. Bruno, down. Stay. Boo. Sit. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. You just wait there for the command boy. What I was going to say to people was that the eggshell is really good for dogs' bones if you can't get a lot of bone for them to feed on. Dry it out and grind it up. Leave it and put it in with their feed. Not for you, Bob. No noise out of you, mate. You've done pretty well there, boo. Okay, boy, eat up. Yes, eggshell is great for dogs, but I actually use mine for my chickens. Right, you're going for a walk, Bruno. Come on, boy, come on. Let's go for a walk. These guys in here, these two animals, these are what I call my premium food. That stinky old possum and that stinky hair, and I'm going to feed the dogs that right now, plus a little bit of venison. So we'll crank into that. We'll start off with this hair here. Now what am I going to do with this? How am I going to prepare it? Well, there's a lot of preparation going into this, isn't there, eh? Hell yeah. What would happen in nature if a wolf came across a hare that had died of natural causes or been killed by another animal? Well, he'd be with his mates in a pack, of course, and they'd stretch it out. In your box, Boo. I didn't say you could come out. Boo, in your box. Boo, in your box. Good dog. Stay. Boo, sit. There's the preparation right there, folks. Now, I'm going to let him chew on that for a while. The first thing he's going to do is going to tear the guts open. He's going to eat the liver, the heart, your gut and the diaphragm. He'll chew up the... Uh, lungs, the spleen, 
and he'll eat all the content of the gut probably too because that's the only way he can get down broken broken down vegetation. Now on this uh, last um, vlog that I put up, man, the debate started a dog's omnivore or carnivore and this guy who was in the profession of cleaning dogs teeth he sent some fantastic uh, evidence backing up why they're omnivores, except I don't believe them. I still think dogs are carnivores. Yes, my dogs can go out in the orchard and eat an apple. And what do I find in the poo next day? I find apple, all of the apple. They'll eat it. And as I said, dogs in China, I was debating it with them, dogs in China, that are in dog farms where they fatten dogs for eating their meat, which uh, I'm not very happy about, but they do it. Um, they feed them strictly on rice. Nothing else. Cooked rice. The dogs survive, but just because they can do it doesn't mean it's correct. I mean, think about cattle over in Europe, where at one stage they were feeding cattle and sheep protein from animal products, meat. They were breaking it down. And that's how mad cow disease came about. You can do it, but it's not healthy. Same for a dog. Dogs are opportunist feeders like pigs. They'll go and they'll scavenge and eat every little thing they can. But most of what they're eating um, that gets digested is meat product, bone, gristle, coagulated blood, sinew, gut content, fat, hair even. If they start eating, munching out on berries and fruit and apples, I'll tell you what, it's going to come straight out the other end. That's why that hair I've just thrown in there, that dog will go for the gut and he'll eat the vegetation that the hair's already broken down. That way he, the cellulose he can get it into his bloodstream and into his body. So they do eat a percentage of vegetation, but really only after it's been broken down by other herbivores or other omnivores. I hope that makes some sort of sense. Right, this possum. Same thing again. I'm going to whack the paws off the possum, or the claws at least, because the claws are sharp, and even though a dog probably could handle them, it's not worth the risk. I'm also going to take the tail off because the tail hasn't got much food in it. There's the feet gone. I'll pick those up off the ground so a dog doesn't pick them up. And the tail can go too. And that is a whole possum. Boo, you should be in there eating your hair. You're not in this possum. This is going into Bob's kennel. Bob will eat as much as he wants. And then the leftovers will go to Poe and Bruno. There you go, mate. Wrap your laughing gear around that. Good boy, is that good, eh? What's he doing first? He's plucking the hair out. He's not stupid. He's going to pluck that possum. He's going to get the hair out. See that? Someone said, do you skin your possums? No. Dog knows how to get the fur off. And the skin is full of all sorts of good stuff that he needs. You can hear a car coming up the driveway, can't you, Bob? Tear into it, mate. Well, it's nearly seven hours later since I fed the dogs. And I'm interested to know how much of each animal I've eaten. Tomorrow morning I'm hunting Bob, Boo, Poe and Diego. Hey Bob, you'd love to come out wouldn't you eh? Right, stay. Where you go. Let's have a look inside the kennel and see what's going on. Where you go Bob, I don't want you near with me. What's that? Is it? No, that's just skin. It's, no, it's the gut. It's the gut. With the... Yeah, it's a bit of the intestine. Okay, that's interesting. Other than that... No, there's nothing buried in there. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? He's virtually eaten the entire possum. So in those few hours, Bob's devoured his whole possum. What's Boo done? Hey, Boo. Well, Boo's not as big a eater as Bob for some reason. I don't know why. And for that reason, I fed Boo quite a bit last night. So I'm not expecting the full amount to be eaten, but uh, we'll see what we got on. Come out of there, boy. I don't want you in there while I'm there. There you go. Stay. I can see it already. It's hit. Oh, it's legs poking out. Is it a skin or is it... Well, that's interesting. So he's eating an entire back leg, but still the front's there, and the chest cavity's empty, so he's taken the lungs and heart, and all the liver. He's eaten all the gut content, but he's left quite a bit still. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. 
Okay, well, that can be for another dog. You're not having any more boo because you're hunting in the morning. Oh, maybe I'll just give him one leg. Just give him a bit more. He's virtually skinned it. Right, we'll give him just that. Get him, boy. Now, Bruno takes a huge amount to eat every day. There you go, Bruno. There you go, boy. Eat up. It requires a lot of feed. Well, folks, uh, that's my vlog on canine nutrition. Now, if there's anything in here that you've seen that you just know 100% that's wrong, and you've got some hard scientific evidence and data to put in front of me to back it up, please let me know. Because I make mistakes all the time, just like you and everyone else. I just want the best for my dogs, and I don't mind being wrong if it means improving their nutrition. Hope you got something from the clip, and uh, your own dogs are going well. We're going hunting in the morning. It's a beautiful day here in sunny Tasman, so wish us luck. In the meantime, good luck with your own dogs. See you later. Hey, good day. What do you do? Hey, you do. What do you know? Whether it's calm and the wind won't blow, I'm stuck for things to say. I'll let these words flow. Hey, good day. What are you doing? Hey, you doing? And what do you know?